Off we go now.
One less evil in the world.
I'm here to see Socrates. Alexios! You know who I am? Of course I do. Socrates never stops talking about you. And you are? His wife, of course. I'm Xantippe. Of course. With how much Socrates has told me, it's like I already know you. Oh? What sort of things has he said? He said how beautiful you are. I see now how true his words were. You flatter me. Though I'm surprised Socrates said as much to you. He's not the type to focus on looks. So where is Socrates? I got a note that said to meet him here. That's what I'd like to know. He went to another symposium last night, and he didn't come home after. Sounds like a good place to start looking. I was just about to head there myself. Come, keep me company. How long have you and Socrates been married? It's been quite some time now. What is it about him that you love so much? Love is not a word I'd use. It frustrates me to no end. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Even so, it's worth the frustration. His mind is like no other. Not to mention, he's quite a good lover. That's not something I wanted to picture. It must be why Alcibiades seems so infatuated with him. Don't mention that name around me. Always coming by drunk, sending Socrates gifts like giant cakes. I didn't know. It's fine. Papa, <gasps> yeah, Hey, 
Tipi. Sunt Tipi over here. I'm here. <laughs> Santipi! What is it? Socrates! They took him away! They said he was under arrest! For what? I have no idea. We were just talking after the symposium. I'd say go ask him yourself, but he'll be guarded. They took him southeast of here. That fool! I knew this would happen to him one day! I'll find him. Don't worry. This is his doing. It's best to let these things run their course. I can't believe Socrates was arrested. I need to find out what happened. I should try to stay out of sight. You're no match for us, Alexios, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same. Well, here I am. Though I'm more curious about how you are here. The guards let you in? I only had to tell them how close we are, and they let me come see you. Ah, then you used what you learned from me. I'm impressed. My words cut very, very deep. Your care is appreciated, but if you had waited only a bit longer, I'm sure my trial would have taken place and I'd be free. You're not going to trial. We're getting you out of here. I understand your concern, but what good would escaping do other than prove I'm guilty? No. In fact, I'm looking forward to this trial. What if they find you guilty and your punishment is severe? That will never happen. I'll convince them I deserve to go free. You'll see. What were you arrested for? I haven't the slightest idea. And that doesn't bother you? Sometimes understanding does not come at the moment we would like. More importantly, this is giving me the necessary time to think. 
about? I went to see the Pythia, and she told me there is none wiser than me. An intriguing thought, and one I've been unable to stop thinking about. Socrates, the Pythia is... It matters not what you believe she is or she isn't. I must examine not only her words, but my own self as well. I know nothing, so how could I be called wise? What does that have to do with being locked up? I believe my time here and this trial may help me find the answer. I will be fine. Trust me. I've known you for a while now. That's true. And you'd call us friends? I would. And friends share important things with one another. Is that so? It is. Then how did I not know you were married? I, uh... From what you just said, that means either we're not friends, or that friends don't share with one another. So, which is it? <laughs> I've wondered how much of our conversation you've taken to heart. And now, I have my answer. Were you doing anything when you got arrested? If speaking my mind is worth imprisonment, then I suppose I was. In the future, you may want to be more careful. You risk life and limb every time you draw your blade. Just because it's my tongue that is sharp, doesn't mean I'm not prepared to face the consequences of using it. Since you won't leave with me, I'll go see the Pythia myself. That's not necessary. I'll find out why she told you that. I won't let you go to trial, even if you think you'll be found innocent. Ah, Alexios, you! I'll come back when I have what I need. I should be extra careful in this area. I'll not you forget this, for Mistyos. Never. <gasps> Welcome back, my friend. You wouldn't believe the amazing items I have in stock for you today. Where do you get all these things, Sargon? I never see you leave your stall. I have a network of associates combing the world for items of interest. When they find something special, they bring it to me. You know what you're doing. I see the value in things that others dismiss. It's a skill I have sharpened over many years. Interesting. Show me what you have in stock.
Come on. Sharp watch here. Camistias.
Have a good day. Off we go now. Not you. You remember me? Just go. I'm too old for this. There might be a bit of blood when you go upstairs. You again? I'm here for a different reason. After last time, they tortured me. I thought they were going to kill me, just like I told you. It hurt so badly. I begged for death. I didn't mean for that to happen. Just hurry and tell me what you want. You told Socrates something, and I want to know why. <laughs> Questioning why the Pythia speaks is a strange thing. I know why you speak, 
And I know who controls your voice. Tell me why the cult had you tell Socrates he's the wisest. The cult didn't tell me to say that. I did that on my own. The cult wouldn't allow you to do that. Which is why I was very careful. I seek Socrates as an ally, but simply asking him to help wouldn't have worked. An ally? For what? I know much of Socrates. Not only has he visited me often, but his students do as well. Get to the point. You know the gods don't speak through me. I feel Socrates is the one who can convince others of this. If he succeeds, the cult will have no more need for me. So you're hoping he comes to the conclusion that the gods don't exist? It matters not if Socrates believes they exist. He needs simply to doubt that the gods speak through me. I understand why you think Socrates can help, but why tell him he's the wisest? He'll delve into what it means to be wisest. It's my hope he'll conclude he's not, and therefore doubt the words of the gods. If you just told him your words aren't from the gods, wouldn't that serve the same purpose? And much quicker? Socrates is not the type to desire the answer so easily. He'll have more drive when he finds the answer on his own. This is getting complicated. Whatever you do, you can't tell Socrates. I understand. He has to come to the answer on his own. Exactly. Although, if you truly wish to help Socrates, a student of his came by not long before you. He seemed... distraught. Distraught? He was clutching a book tightly to his chest and kept looking over his shoulder. He told me he was going into a tomb nearby until things were safe. Thank you. I'll find him. This is it. Ay! Sorry for sharing my share of tombs with you. What is that? Uh, no. uh, 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 uh.
don't need to be scared now. I'm not with them. That doesn't mean you won't kill me. You just want this for yourself. I'm a friend of Socrates. You are? Prove it! Socrates is one of the most frustrating people I've ever known. He just talks and talks and talks. And it feels like he asks questions just so he can continue talking and talking and talking. What you call frustrating, I call brilliant. But it's clear you know him well. <laughs> Why were those men after you? For some reason, they wanted these writings of Socrates's. Well, I wrote them, but it's all his words. That seems like a strange thing to want. One of them had a big mouth. He mentioned something about the priest at the sanctuary of Athena Pronea. He said this was the final thing they needed to get rid of Socrates. I've always been curious. What does Socrates teach you? So much. Follow him around for an entire day and you won't be able to sleep. Your mind will be so aflutter with thoughts. I'm not sure I'd last a whole day with him. What drew you to Socrates? I've never met a man like him and I don't think I ever will again. Every day with him is one worth waking up for. I'll take care of the priests. Thank you. And... Well... Please... Give this to Socrates. It hurts me to say this after all I've learned from him, but I have a family. I can't risk being caught up in whatever this is. So you're going to stop being his student? It feels I have no choice. Maybe one day that will change. I'll be sure to give him the writings. Thank you. Make sure he stays safe. The world will be a worse place without him in it. That student gave me an idea. Xantipi said there was a symposium. Maybe I can convince the others who were there to help Socrates. I'm not sure why the priests want Socrates gone, but I need to take care of them. I need to talk to them. Maybe I can convince them to stand up for Socrates at the trial. Do not students take what they learn from their teachers? What then if the teacher is wrong? Does that not simply perpetuate these wrong teachings amongst future generations? You assume the students aren't wise enough to understand the flaws of the teacher. Think of those who came before us. First Thales, then his student Anaximandros, and then Anaximenes. Without the teachings of those before him, it's safe to say Anaximenes would not have reached the conclusions he did. I don't think that's true at all. Oh, perhaps this new phase can offer a different perspective. I didn't hear a single thing you just said. Is that so? Well, let me simplify it quickly. Thales taught Anaximandros, who taught Anaximenes. Wouldn't you agree that students learn from the failings of their teachers? A student gets to take all the knowledge of their teacher without needing to come up with answers themselves. If they're smart, they should surpass those they studied under. An astute observation. The time saved by receiving the knowledge allows the student not only to expand on the ideas, but to come up with more of their own. But what if the student expands on ideas without first seeking the truth behind them? If we listen to others and take what they say as fact, we only have ourselves to blame. So, no matter who is speaking, student or teacher, we must spend time trying to understand if what they say is even true. Your appearance betrays you, Mystius. Clearly, you've taken on a teacher of your own. Something like that is the reason I'm here. Socrates needs your help. Socrates? Ha! If it's another debate you want, it will be hard for us to decide who hates that man more. Why would we help him? You can either help him, or I can show you that I'm not a mystios only in looks. I didn't realize Socrates taught his students to harm those who disagree with them. 
I'm a different student than you're used to. We wouldn't stand a chance against you in a fight. But that doesn't mean we will do what you say through threat of violence. You've been an interesting part of the conversation thus far. So we will give you another chance. Why should we help Socrates? Shouldn't we help those in need? As much as we possibly can, yes. And isn't Socrates in need? I suppose so. If you saw a traveler wounded on the side of the road, would you help him? Or would you first find out if he was a good person? Obviously, we would rush to help. Right. Now, Socrates is that wounded traveler. He needs your help. Fine, fine. You've made your point, and you've made it well. Socrates deserves our help, but we don't give it lightly. That makes it worth even more. We'll be on our way, then. We'll gather some others as well. Make sure our voices are heard. Believe it or not, we're pretty good at causing a scene. If you're like Socrates, that's not hard to believe. Wow, I've never seen someone convince them so easily before. Is that so? I guess I should feel proud. I'm surprised to see a child here. Is there an age at which it would suddenly be okay to debate with them? What then of the night before I turn that age? Should we be prevented from doing what we wish due to the world's view of us? I can't even have a normal conversation with a child. Normal is no fun. Look around. Everyone here wants the same thing. Headaches? Debate! You're the first kid I've met who'd rather debate than play. Don't tell the others. But I'm envious that you're a student of Socrates. I hope one day to be as well. You're on the right path. What's your name? Aristocles. Although I've never liked that name much. It does sound like countless others I've heard around Athens. Why not choose another? I can do that? Huh. My brother always had a problem saying my name. So he called me Plato instead. Perhaps I'll use that. I like it. Thank you. Well, I better hurry after the others. Here!